What's up YouTube? This is Sparta, and today I'm bringing you guys a commentary about why people hack. Now, uh, as for gameplay, I have for you guys a hardpoint map in league play on the map Slums, and I was actually playing against two hackers. And uh, the first dead giveaway was that one of them was 12th Prestige, level 55, and if you guys play Black Ops 2, you know that that is not possible. And uh, you'll see here a couple points where they obviously have wall hacks or uh, UAV or something because they're either pre-firing me or they're shooting me through walls. And uh, back onto my topic, I want to actually talk to you guys about why people hack. And for me, I personally think people hack because they don't think they're actually good enough at the game to begin with or they think it'll be fun to hack, which... In my opinion, that takes all the fun out of the game, and uh, it really kind of ruins it, to be honest. Uh, if you know where everyone on the other team is, that's not fun, okay? You play the game to actually be uh, challenged, and uh, these guys, as you'll see in this gameplay, their gun skill is unbelievably bad, and uh, that's probably because they need those hacks to actually get kills which i kind of feel bad for him to be honest um as you can see this guy's trying to pre-fire me before i turn the corner and he gets smacked but um i don't know hackers and modders uh i don't know how it works on xbox but i know on uh, playstation all you have to do is download like an old update and get your own firmware for your uh, PS3 and jailbreak it and basically what this does is allow you to download mod menus and change the game basically and I I don't get how this is fun I've done some research on hacking and it it seems like it's pretty easy to do to uh, jailbreak a PS3 um, but I don't see a point in it because it really does ruin the games and I've encountered this quite a bit on Ghost where people will spawn in with miniguns or uh, all the perks and stuff like that and they haven't done a whole lot to patch the uh, mod menus and stuff but and especially in Black Ops 2 where you see people in league play with like 10 million ladder points and right here I'm about to get wall banged and watch this kill cam yeah okay there's something wrong there but continue with what I was saying um like the mod menus they give you like 10 million ladder points in league play and uh basically to just get you to rank one in your division and I don't I don't feel like that's any fun I mean sure it looks good on your combat record saying you're like number one masters or number one platinum or something like that but that kind of ruins it. it it doesn't show that you have any skill at all and for me I'm looking for people with skill to play against I don't like these people who have to use radar or wall hacks or uh, like fake streaks just to uh you know get kills and for me uh <laughs> i feel like my reaction time is good enough that i can beat these guys in a one-on-one -on -one, uh gunfight even when they pre-fire me just due to the fact that i guess i've practiced more and trust me my aiming drill that i did a couple videos ago go check that out use that it will get you amazing aim and you don't even need aimbot uh like these hackers probably have but they don't turn on because these people miss so many shots on me it's unbelievable and with aimbot how is that any fun because it literally just locks on and all you have to do is shoot um i i really i don't get it but people hack I think because they suck that's being plain and simple uh, most people and most of these hackers also boot on league play 
So what's the point in having a hex if you can also have a booter? Which uh, to me makes no sense. And watch this. This kid's going to pre-fire me and he's still going to die. Oh, his aim sucks. You guys are probably saying, wow, Sparta, you're really cocky. And uh, to be honest, uh, I kind of am. Because I know I'm, I'm pretty good at this game. And I don't let hackers get in my way of winning. Especially if I'm in a three-man party or something like that. We can, uh, we can wreck them still. Because like I said, these hackers, they aren't, they aren't good at this game. They, uh, they don't practice their aim because they don't need to. They got anything they want. They got score streaks. They have aimbot. They got red boxes. They have wall hacks. They've got UAV. They can get rank one masters if they want to. And that, that ruins the point of even having the game. Like, if, if you're going to hack, you might as well get good at the game first. And uh, personally, I've only ran into probably one hacker who's actually had pretty good gun skill. And uh, he, was, he was a warrior, to be honest. And he, was, he wasn't a booter, but uh, he still had wall hacks. And I don't know if he had gun skill because he had aimbot on. Or just because he could pre-fire everyone. But anyways, this this gameplay really does showcase like what hackers play like when they have these uh, UAV wall hack capabilities. And without them, for me, like I've worked pretty hard uh, to get where I am gun skill wise. You know, grinding my drill and playing against good players in game battles, working on communication with my teammates, uh, trusting my teammates, and uh, really, I, th I feel like that's helped me develop uh, gun skill-wise, as well as being a more te team-oriented player. Uh, some people just go out here and try for kills, which is what I'm assuming these kids were doing, because look, they got like one capture and two captures, they weren't staying on the hard point at all and using their hacks to their full abilities. So uh, it looks like we're getting to the end of the video here, guys. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to read and reply to what you guys have to say. And don't forget to stab that like button and kick the subscribe on your way out. And as always, this is Sparta, and I'm out.